Good morning, fourth grade. Sorry I couldn't be there with you today, um, but I wanted to go ahead and do a lesson with you so that you can still have the art experience even though I have to be gone. So today you're going to get a black piece of paper. Your black piece of paper needs to go tall like a hamburger, not long like a hot dog. Okay, so you're going to make sure that your paper is positioned tall, and you're also going to get a white charcoal pencil to do your drawing with today. So you can use a regular pencil first and go over the top of it with your white charcoal pencil once you get your drawing the way that you like. So at this time, I need to have your teacher pass out a piece of black paper to everybody and a white charcoal pencil. All right, once you get your materials, we're going to start drawing a skeleton today. So the first part of the skeleton that we're going to create is going to be the head. So from the top of your paper, I want you to use your hand and come down about four fingers length. That's where you're going to start drawing your skeleton's head. So for my skeleton's head, I'm actually going to make a U shape that is upside down. So I have an upside down U for the top of my skeleton's head. Um, in proportion to my hand, you can kind of see where it's at on my thumb. So it's not quite as long as my thumb. And then underneath that upside down U, we're going to make the jawline of the skeleton. So you're going to curve around from one side and then connect it back over to the other side of that upside down U. Then inside your skeleton's head, we're going to give him some sockets for the eyes. I'm going to make some lopsided ovals for my skeleton's eyes. And then I'm going to make a, a triangular shape with rounded corners for his nose. And once again, I'm using my white charcoal pencil. If you'd like to do yours in regular pencil first, you can do it in regular pencil and then draw over the top of it with your white charcoal if that feels better. All right, the next thing I'm going to do for the teeth, I'm going to make a rectangle right above that jawline on my skeleton's head. And then I'm going to put a line across the center to divide the top teeth from the bottom teeth. For the top teeth, I'm going to make two upside down U's right in the center and then I'm going to just fill in the rest of that space with upside down U's as well and that makes his top teeth. The bottom teeth are going to be regular U's so I'm just going to make the letter U for the bottom teeth and I'm going to fill in that space all the way to the end with, ups, with the letter U. Alright so the next thing I'm going to do is make his spine. His spine does not have to be straight. Your skeletons can show some motion if you make the spine kind of in a curved pattern. So for the spine, I'm just going to do a series of ovals. They don't have to all be the same size. And I'm going to do those ovals until I'm about halfway down the length of my page. Okay, so this is about my halfway mark. All right, so now I want to put ribs on each side of my spine. The shape of the ribs is going to look kind of like a banana. So I'm going to make a long banana shape on this top part of my rib. And then those bananas are going to get just a little bit smaller as I go down the rib cage. Now, depending on how long you drew your spine, you may not fit the same number of ribs that I do. On mine, I have seven ribs down this side. So I want to try to do the same on the opposite side. So I'm going to do seven ribs on this side as well. And remember, it's just kind of like drawing a banana shape. I'm going to do a larger one on the top, and then they're going to get a little bit smaller as I go down the rib cage. And then one more small one on this side to complete the ribs. Okay, I'm going to slide mine up just a little bit. 
The next thing I'm going to do is the pelvic bone. So for this one, I am going to make, it's almost like a heart shape, but it's, it's a little more rounded. So at the top of that pelvic bone, it looks like I've made the top of a heart. And then on each side, it's just going to come down and make a little bit of a point in the center. Okay. I'm going to draw an oval on each side of that. And then I'm going to slide my paper down so you can see the top because I'm going to come back up and add arms. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide where I want my arms to go. So on this side, I'm going to make my arm come out and bend at an elbow and go back up. So I'm going to start out by drawing a bone. To make a bone, I make a backwards three. And then I'm going to do long parallel lines. And then I'm going to do a three on the other end. And that makes the bone shape. At the end of the bone, I'm going to add an oval. And I'm going to do another bone coming up. So this one is kind of a lopsided three. It looks like it's laying down. Two parallel lines. And then I'll make the top of the bone. Okay. I'm going to make an oval at the top of that bone, and then I'm going to add my fingers. So my thumb's going to be a little bit shorter, and then I'm going to have longer ovals for the rest of my fingers. Just like that. Now, on the other side of my skeleton, I'm going to make the arm bend down this time. So instead of reaching up in the sky like that one did, this arm is going to bend down over here to the side. So once again, I'm going to start out with a bone. And um, it will have two parallel lines that come down the length of the rib cage, and then kind of a lopsided three at the end of it. I make another oval for the joint in the elbow, and then I'm ready to do the lower bone of the arm. So this one's going to have two parallel lines also, and the bone shape at the end. I'm going to do another oval and then the fingers. So here's my smaller finger for the thumb, and then I'll do a few longer fingers next to it. All right. So my skeleton kind of looks like he's dancing. All right, so I'm going to slide mine up again, and now we're going to work on the legs. So for the legs, I'm going to start with this one over here. This one, I'm going to do that same shape that we did on those upper bones. It kind of looks like the letter three, but it's turned on its side. And then it's going to have a parallel line coming down with that same lopsided three shape. Okay. An oval for the knee. And then another long bone. So there's that lopsided three shape again. The parallel lines. Okay. On the bottom of that leg, I'm going to do a circle. And then I'm going to do kind of a rectangle, but with rounded corners for the foot bones. Then at the end of that foot, I'm just going to draw some bones for the toes. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for my skeleton's other leg. Okay. So this time I'm going to start with a bone shape. It's going to have that letter three form or number three formation. And then once again, parallel lines. I want to try to make it about the same length as the bone on the uh, the leg bones on the other side. And then I'll put another three shape on the end of that one. Okay. At the knee, I'm going to add an, a circle, and then I'm going to do another bone at the bottom of the leg. Okay, so that bone is finished. Now I'm ready to do a foot on this side. So once again, I'm going to have a circle. 
I'm going to do a rectangular shape with rounded corners. And then I'm just going to do ovals to add the toes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what my finished piece looks like. All right, so when you're finished, your skeleton should look something like this. The last thing you need to do with your white pencil is make sure you include your name right at the bottom of your skeleton. And then I'd like for you guys to save these for me so that I can check them out when I get back. Thanks for watching.